Welcome to how the Portage and Main Ultimizer works. The first thing we do is gather some kindling and set a match to it. Once the fire is burning, we can add the logs. These logs can be seasoned, green, or even damp wood. As the fire begins to take, you can then turn on the blower located at the rear of your Portage and Main Ultimizer. By turning on the blower, this will create a draft, much like when you blow on a campfire. Get it started. The Ultimizer is designed to imitate that process, but it not only blows air under the fire, but across the top as well. This creates an incredible fire, which can easily reach temperatures of 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. All of the heat is transferred into the water jacket that surrounds the sides and the top of the fire chamber. The heat is transferred in a four-pass cycle that begins in the lower part of the chamber and then moves up the rear of the fire chamber as the fire and heat creates a vortex of energy. As it completes the second pass at the back of the chamber, it enters a well-designed dual-pass heat exchanger on the top of the Portage and Main water furnace. The whole process is controlled by two aquastats, one automatic that can be programmed with a high temperature and a low temperature. The second is a manual aquastat that is set with a slightly higher temperature. This is a safety aquastat to prevent the boiler from overheating. It automatically will shut the blower fan and the damper if the auto aquastat fails. This prevents damage to the boiler and increases the life and efficiency of the ultimizer. Once the fire is burning and the aquastats are set, all you need to do is add logs every 12 hours or so. The ultimizers are designed for maximum heat extraction with one third to one half less fuel than other manufactured furnaces. Portage and Main designers have always strived to engineer the most efficient and long lasting furnaces as possible, making your investment sound and secure.